Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And today we have a brand new deck. It is with our boy Rizard. And it is uh, three colors. Like we've been on the trend of three colors and we're just gonna we're gonna keep going on that trend. Because it's got a lot of fun stuff and you could add a lot of different things to the deck. But before we get into it guys, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link will be down below. Go check it out. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support and we'd greatly appreciate it. With that, we're gonna delve into the deck called Beasts of Darkness. And it is our boy Rizard, and so it's the Black Green Ruler, he's got Stranger 10, uh, Judgments for Green and Black Black, and Energizes a Greener and Black. And then when the Darkness Regalia enters the field under your control, if it's Death Scythe, you choose two. Yep. And his options are get two strangers at random and put them in the graveyard. Each player banishes a Resonator, put a Resonator from your graveyard into your hand, or pay zero for his Judgment. So that is the major, like the major reasons you're using his regalia for this deck at all is to get back dudes from the graveyard or to make your opponent vanish. I mean, you can get the other ones, but it, his regalia in this deck isn't really a major part of it. Yeah. Sadly, it's just kind of like an accurate deck. Um, but when he judgments, he turns into a 10-10 and he enters, you put the top four of your deck into your graveyard. Then you may put a Resonator from a Graveyard into the field if you do. It gains Darkness in addition to its other attributes and a Vampire in addition to its other races. And then you can pay a Black and a Green for each Vampire you control starting with the one with the highest attack to the one with the lowest attack. Target a Resonator your opponent controls. Vampires get plus four plus four and then each each of them deals damage to their attack to the chosen target. So yep. the highest to the lowest and you just choose that way. And yes, that a new creature is a vampire, so it gets to be added into that whole list. Yeah. We have a couple other vampires in the deck, so it'll be kind of nice to have that, but most of the, mostly you're just going to be using it for whatever you get to do that. Yeah, just to ping off a few dudes if uh, <clears throat> possible, for sure. Yeah. Uh, his strangers, they're pretty, pretty simple. Uh, they're mostly low cost, because we're trying to be like an aggro deck with this deck. And the first one we got is Shurin, the King of Supremacy. He has three red for a 10-10 with swiftness. If your opponent was dealt damage this turn, this card cost two red less to play. Yeah. So he's only one mana for a 10-10, as long as you've dealt damage. Uh, next is Lawyer, the Twilight Witch. She is two black for a 4-4. Enter, remove target resonator from the game. This card gets plus X plus Y. <clears throat> and all abilities of the resonator removed by this card, where X is the attack and Y is the defense of the resonator. It's pretty cute. Next up is Ku Chulain, the hero in a far land. He is two red and black for a 10-10 with first strike and bane. He gets swiftness and precision as long as your life is 2,000 or less. And when this card attacks, your opponent discards a card. It's really good. Yeah, I mean, all of it. everything that this dude can get is kind of ridiculous if you're under 2,000. So if you're losing, this dude gets to be like, hey, swiftness, precision, first strike, bane. Yeah. If you never dealt with first strike and bane together, it's one <laughs> yeah. of the strongest combinations. Yeah, it's really, really annoying because you're like, hey, I'm going to swing and kill your dude. Kill your dude. I don't care. care. You're going to block me. It's dead. Thanks. Uh, next, we're using Barus, the machine god of conflagration. He is two red for an 8-8. Eight, eight. Resonators you control get plus two plus zero while attacking. And then you can awaken him for a green to give your dudes pierce. Or you can awaken him for a red to give your dudes swiftness. So for four mana, you can give swiftness and pierce to all your dudes and plus two plus zero when they're attacking. Yeah, pretty, I, pretty sound. Dude is pretty strong for, for a stranger. Uh, and then finally we have Azazel, the Blazing Charger. He is a black and a red for a 7-7. Seven, seven. Resonators you control gain swiftness. Yeah. And then whenever a Resonator you control is put into a graveyard from the field, this card does 200 damage to target player or J Resonator. Pay red, target J Resonator must attack a block this turn. So remember this guy, because if you have this dude in play and you shoot them for two, your Shuren costs one because he can shoot players. Yeah. And with the, the combination of like First Strike Main and then Azazel just saying, uh, that dude has to block. And yeah. And you swing and then now it's dead. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Our first Resonator is Firefox. It's one red, four, four, enter. This card may deal 400 damage to you. If it does, it gains plus 100 and swiftness until the turn. So you're just trading basically damage. Yeah, you, you trade the damage, but it's worth it in every little bit just because you get to hit for five. Yeah, on turn one. Yeah. Uh, next is Fallen Angel of Fiery Vengeance. It is one black for 4-4. Four, four. Um, darkness Magic Stones you control have tap add red. And you treat all Darkness Magic Stones as Fire Magic Stones. Um, but mostly this dude can tap banish. Search your deck for a Fallen Angel of Fiery Vengeance. Reveal it, put it in your hand. And when he's in the graveyard, you can pay 2 life and remove him. To target dude gets minus 0, minus 4. Yeah. 
and that is what makes this card so strong because you're just like hey i'm gonna kill your dude from the graveyard because i can exactly next one is black spot tiger it's one red four four it's pay zero uh, this card gains flying and deals 200 damage to you. Play this ability only once per turn, because why would you give it infinite flying? <laughs> but it's still just really good to swing past everything. Yeah, you're paying two life, but you're going to hit them for four. So you're going to win that race, and it's just it's free damage. Yeah. Uh, next is Magnus Guardian Beast. He is a green green and a red for a 6-6. Six, six. Enter. You may search your deck for any number of res or for up to two resonators with total cost one and put them into the field. Yeah. Then shuffle your deck. So you can go get the Black Spot Tiger, the Fallen Angel, or the Fiery Fox. And one of those has swiftness, one of those kills dudes, and the other just gives you more flying. Yeah, exactly. Next one is Prissia. Uh, she's a 7 4, green, red, colorless. Uh, she has an activation, she has swiftness, precision, and first strike, which is ridiculous. Yeah. And then you pay a green, this card gains flying. And then when it's put in the graveyard from the field, deal 500 damage to your opponent. So when you're just swinging all out and they're at low life, they have to decide whether to take seven or five and that's not a good decision yeah if you've ever fought against this card you know how difficult it is to deal with because yeah. it's just like hey i'm gonna swing into you and you're gonna have to deal with it yeah you're gonna have to enjoy that damage yeah uh next is makage sejiro he is a black 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 and a green for a 12 12 flying precision whenever a resonator dealt damage by this card is put into the graveyard put into the battlefield under your control it gains darkness and vampire and then you can remove a stranger in your graveyard this card gains eternal and then enter you may pay any amount of life and this card deals damage equal to that to the target resonator when it comes into play so you can come into play and kill a dude and then it becomes yours because he dealt the damage so you could be like hey cool that's mine now yep exactly which all of he he helps you add all the little vampires that rizar gets to use to shoot off the board on his god's art so it's kind of nice you, you want to use both of them together if you're using rizar really exactly and the fact that you can just give them eternal just like i'll assume for a 12 you want to block the little dudes because now they're mine yeah all right the first one is a soul hunt it's a one red or one black chant each player banishes a resonator and each player discards a card simple as that card's so strong very it's, it's, strong it's one mana get rid of two different things oh yeah and you don't really care because you get back most of the dudes you get back from the graveyard with Rizard's ability so you're like cool i don't care yeah and then you also get back cards with this card, March of the Dead, one black. Yeah. Put target resonator would cost two or less from your graveyard to the field. Put up to a second one if it's awakened for two up two black. So three mana, you get two two drops or under, which is most of the dudes in the deck. And you're like, cool. Yeah. Get these dudes back. Super good. Next one, of course, you have to have Look <clears> of <throat> Corruption. That's one darkness. Look at the opponent's hand, choose a card with four or less. If they discard it, if it was awakened, uh, which is three they do a five or more but that probably won't ever happen just turn one turn two look of corruption get your kill spell out thanks yeah and look of corruption can do so much work it, oh, it yeah. really can <laughs> uh next is reflect summoning it is two red and that we have to pay it for two red because we're not playing reflect and refrain yeah but you get a eight four fire beast token with enter this card deals damage equal to its attack to target resonator so you can shoot something for eight when this dude comes into play, when you make it an eight four. Yeah. And it's still an eight four dude just to be like, hey, just swing. For two. And it kills the dude for the first dude to swing in. That's good. Death Scythe is the next card. It's darkness and green. Uh, Mythic, of course, you know, have one on the battlefield. Tap, produce two wheels of any combination of green and black. It can be played with God's Arts, Mage Arts from the graveyard, or activate ability cards in the graveyard. And then, of course, if you remove three cards in your graveyard from the game, put this card from the graveyard into your hand. So that's super solid. Yeah. And then the final card we have in the deck is Life Severing Blade. It is one black and two for quick cast. The resonator you control is put into a graveyard from the field this turn. This cost costs two less to play. And you destroy target resonator. It's a one mana kill spell. Yeah. Like I, like, it's just super strong in this kind of deck because you already have little dudes, so they're going to die. And like Soul Hunt triggers that too. So you can be like, cool, Soul Hunt, you be one dude and then kill your big dude. Yeah, exactly. Simple as that. Uh, the stones, they're relatively simple and straightforward. We're playing the dual stones of the three colors. We got the Scorched Veils, which is the red-black one. We have the Blasting Waves, which is the red-green one. And we're playing Adaractus Memoria, which gives you black-green off of Rizard. Yep. So you have the three colors pretty simple. Uh, the deck's going to be really... It's its very straightforward aggro deck. Um, we have a couple of the kill spells to just to get there, help yeah. you get there, but... Overall, it's going to be super fun to play. The deck list will be down below, guys. Go check it out and then let us know what you think about it. And if you have any deck ideas or questions, send us a, send us a comment. And we'll see you all again next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.
Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Uh, thank you, Dwayne Higgs. And thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.